That's right, you guys. I recorded a ding and dang book. What? This is crazy, right? This is insane. Oh, wow. Speak it later. So I've known this for a little while and I am so glad to finally be telling you guys. I have been wanting to tell you this bit of information and let you know about this exciting new advancement that I've been working on. Uh, I wrote a book, which is crazy. Now granted, it's just a short story. It's not like it's a fully extensive novel or anything, though I have plenty of those that uh, I could publish, but I won't because they're embarrassing and I wrote them when I was too young. Eh. But I decided that I was going to work on an old piece that I wrote actually back whenever I was in middle school, uh, and then I published it back in high school, <laughs> and uh, you know, it looks. Before I show you the new copy, I just want to show you what this book originally looked like. So this was, uh, I gave the, the, the PDF or whatever it was to my mom, and uh, an image that I wanted the cover to be, and she took it to the Staples, she's wonderful, and made this for me. Uh, and it is, it is the book. I mean, it's pages and chapters, and this art uh, that was originally done by one of my good friends, Crystal Hill. I'll tag her art. Uh, she's an incredible artist. Not normally look, doesn't normally look like this. She's more abstract and a kind of surrealist artist. It's really, she does awesome work, but uh, <laughs> not much like this. Um, but I didn't use this as the cover for the new book just because I didn't want to worry about copyright or getting in, you know, any kind of agreement there. And this is too special. This is something that I'll always keep as being, you know, my own personal brand. Um, but this is what it originally looked like, and I took this file and I edited the heck out of it and really made it into something completely new, uh, and am so excited to show you guys the first official look at The Christmas Bench by Nathan Webb. This is a short story that, like I said, I wrote a long time ago and then rewrote uh, this year with who I am now and the writing talent that I have compared to whenever I was like a seventh grader, and uh, I'm finally publishing it. So it's on Amazon right now. You guys can go right now and check it out. Um, it is available uh, in paperback currently and it will be available on Kindle December 2nd. So it's available for pre-order now if you want to go ahead and get it for Kindle. It will be cheaper. If you get the paperback, the Kindle will only cost one dollar, which makes it even cheaper, even better of a deal. You can get both, read it on your Kindle, your phone, uh, or read it in paperback, however you prefer. Um, but this is so crazy exciting and I have been waiting and I'm so doggone thrilled to finally let you guys know that this thing is coming to your door, it is coming to you, and it's finally here. So what is The Christmas Bench, you might ask? Uh, what is this story and why should I read it? Well, I have attached the trailer um, to this video, so if you wanna check out the book trailer, and I would love for you to watch that book trailer and find out a little bit more about it. But for those of you that have stayed and watched this video, I am going to give you a little sneak peek as well and just let you know um, what this book is about, kind of an author's in-depth look into what this thing is. Ultimately what it is at its very root is a story about two people that are star-crossed. They're not star-crossed lovers, uh, but they are indeed star-crossed by fate. Uh, we are greeted by our protagonist uh, very grumpily, uh, the grumpy Mr. Crow, who is an old man, not really old old man, just kind of a, a mid-lifer that is tired and might as well be an old man because he's so tired of life and so tired of people and so tired of problems. Uh, and he sits in his spot on his bench, on his park, uh, day in and day out. And kids know him uh, as the grumpy Mr. Crow and they don't dare sit in his seat until one day the beautiful Miss Cassidy shows up and is sitting in his spot whenever he arrives there that morning. Uh, and so we get to see what happens with the collision of these two characters uh, and what they might think about one another and how they might be able to help one another in the long run. And so the biggest challenge and the biggest issue that I kind of confronted when writing this was what it really wanted uh, thematically to argue, what I really wanted to make the point across about. Uh, and so I did, and the point that I wanted to get across was this relationship, and not only this relationship, but the inner relationship within these characters. Given the increased acceptance of mental disease and mental disorder and uh, just mental issues all in all uh, over the past couple decades, I wanted to kind of tackle those in a way that was uh, kind of approachable and easy and friendly, but also, you know, didn't pull any punches from what it really was. Uh, and so seasonal affective disorder is one of the better known uh, terms for this, but the winter blues or the fall blues or whatever it may be, whenever the seasons start to get a little bit colder, uh, some people 
just take a turn for the worst. I wanted to tackle that and present this in kind of a way that's interesting uh, and brief and just kind of jovial at the same time. Uh, and so we get to see uh, Mr. Crow, who is this character who clearly is suffering from some kind of seasonal affective or just generalized depression. Uh, he is just a grump. He's miserable. He doesn't really have a reason and he doesn't really understand it. But he sat on this bench and he's learned from this bench and at the same time he's just trying to deal uh, with the innards of life uh, and with the troubles that come from that. And then we meet Miss Cassidy who's more of a manic example of somebody who has just gone through a tragedy, just gone through some kind of turmoil. Uh, and she comes and we have this collision force of, of two people who are damaged, who are hurting, who need help. Uh, and instead of dragging one another down, uh, instead, they're presented with the opportunity to build one another up. And so through their, through their collision and through their course, they are able to improve one another's lives uh, in some way, shape or form. Uh, and so I had fun exploring that and exploring the possibilities there uh, and what really matters in this relationship and what really makes the difference between it. Uh, and what in the world does this stupid bench have to do with anything? <laughs> That's the big question, right? What is the point of the Christmas bench? What does it mean uh, as the tagline to meet at the Christmas bench? Why is that important? Uh, and so that's what we'll be talking about, and that's what this book uh, goes through. Uh, and I really hope that you guys will consider picking this up. I hope this has piqued your interest in some way, shape, or form. Uh, depression is something serious, and it's something that we need to talk about and that people need to talk about. Uh, and so this is just another way that I'm offering up um, an opportunity to have discussion. And so if you know somebody uh, that might be dealing with some, some of these feelings, with depression, anxiety, feelings of worthlessness, whatever they, those may be, this might be an opportunity for you to say, hey, uh, this is just uh, a, little, a little jaunt into what this is so we can talk about it for real. I hope that you'll consider picking this up. It won't be on bookshelves anywhere near you because I this is the first book I've ever published. And it's also a short story. I don't even know if they hardly even do those. Um, but uh, I hope that you will consider purchasing this, either paperback or Kindle or whatever form works best for you. And ultimately, I just hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you enjoy this journey and uh, whatever in the world comes next. I already have a lot of ideas for what I want to do next and if I want to do more things and how I want to do more things. Now that I've, I've got the bug, I've got the itch, uh, I'm just going to keep on doing this because I really loved getting to create. Um, that doesn't mean that I'll be putting a pause or anything on the Thousands Project. I hope that you'll consider checking that out as always. But just these opportunities uh, for me to write creatively. Uh, normally, pretty much everything I'm going to write is probably going to be fiction. I don't foresee too much nonfiction, but maybe, I, I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, don't put baby in a box. Don't put baby in a corner. Ooh, put me in a corner. Thousands Project makes me remember uh, I will be releasing an audiobook. So that's pretty cool, right? So there will also be an audiobook option uh, in addition to all of the other copies that I've got here. So you can purchase it on Kindle. You can purchase it paperback. Eventually you'll be able to purchase it on an audiobook. I'll let you know more about that whenever I know for sure. Um, ideally, it will also be available December 2nd. Um, and we just got a bunch of stuff happening. A lot of really cool things. So let me know. I, do you Are you interested? Will you be buying the book? Please let me know down below if you plan on buying it. Uh, and even more importantly, uh, I hope that you'll consider sharing the book. That's what it's really for. Uh, and that's what this channel is really for, is for sharing and for building community, uh, building relationships, and providing a, a positive and encouraging uh, place for you to be, to discuss, and to work through things together. So, uh, that should be about it. And I appreciate you guys for watching this video uh, and for hopefully checking out this book and finding out more about it and seeing if it's something for you uh, and for people that you may know. That's it for me today. I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, week, month, however long until we get another video out here. I foresee it being pretty soon. Uh, but thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, week or month, however long before we see each other once again. Bye.